Hello and welcome to this video in the ClearPass workshop series. In this series we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with wireless, wired, active directory and much more. In this video we will be installing the ClearPass virtual machines for our workshops. So this is the high level architecture of the deployment where we have a data center. In our case we will be uh, deploying the ClearPass appliances here in uh, the local site near the switches and in order to do that uh, let's bring on the vmware infrastructure so this is our infrastructure um, so we can log in to the esxi server and here um, you can see that i already have my domain controller running my ubuntu server running um, i have a gateway running on this uh, box as well and here in the clearpass workshop um, this is where we will be deploying the new vms so to deploy a new VM, we go to the file and deploy OVF template. The OVF templates, um, we uh, got that from uh, the Aruba support site. Um, yeah, and it will be uh, just an OVF file. Um, might be that you need to unzip it uh, before you can uh, use it. But let's open uh, that file. So we continue here. You can see this is the 6.6.0 release. So the zero release is always deployed as an OVF template and uh, after that we will be upgrading to the latest patch release that is available so you can see what we need um, on download size so hope that we have that available then we have the license agreement and um, as everyone we read that and accept it and uh, here we can name the VM so um, let's call this one cppm1 publisher vm now we need to decide where we need to store the data for the vm and you can see i have two data stores here and uh, i have some space free on the second one so let's pick that one and we need to decide how we will assign the disk space for this appliance so we can choose between thick provisioned or thin provisioned where thin provisioned will uh, deploy or assign the disk space um, only when it's needed which uh, will save you some space but has a very big risk if you are um, growing the disk uh, requiring more data it might be that there is not enough physical disk space available on the vm host and that will um, yeah crash your systems so in the next page we will assign the networks so here from the top down we are uh, deploying for site one the vm so we select here vlan 10 as the vm network for this appliance and um yeah this is the summary of this deployment so now we can click finish and you can see it is deploying the vm on our system now you can see this runs pretty rapidly but in the meantime, uh, let's see the release notes um, or the installing or upgrading ClearPass on a virtual machine guide. This uh, guide is available from the support site as well. And um, beside this shows um, uh, a lot of things that you need to know before installing ClearPass. So I would recommend that you read it. What it will show us is the system requirements that we need for our ClearPass appliance. And in our case, we are deploying an evaluation version which requires two virtual CPUs, four gigabytes of RAM and 80 gigabytes of disk space. So we need to attach that later on uh, when the machine has been deployed. If we are using a production system, uh, we will need more CPUs, more RAM and more disk space. And uh, the exact specifications are uh, located in this document. So if you are deploying it in production, please read this document and make sure that you have enough uh, capacity and uh, enough resources uh, supplied to the ClearPass appliance. Otherwise, uh, you will be in trouble. So the VM has been deployed. So let's go into the virtual machine settings. So what we can see that there is uh, currently one drive. So from the release notes, we heard that we uh, needed to uh, assign a second disk. So we assign a second hard disk here and we create a new virtual disk and we need to make that 
80 gigabytes. And because this is a test system, I will, against all recommendations, use thin provisioning. So in production, don't use it. It may, will make the deployment faster. But again, if you run out of physical disk space, uh, you have a big problem because your virtual machines will start crashing. So this will be a SCSI disk and uh, we finish this. Um, also, um, we only need two CPUs, so let's reduce this one. And we only need uh, four gigabytes for this uh, eval machine. So we, this uh, is where we can change it. If you have a larger machine, this is also where you can uh, increase it. So one thing that I typically do is here on the SCSI controller, I change the type to a para-virtual uh, para uh, controller type, which is not uh, really supported, I think, but in heavy loaded systems, uh, VMs, I have seen some performance improvement uh, in there. So again, um, it might be that if you're contacting support, that they will ask you to revert this change. So now let's power on the machine. And uh, let's see if we can open a console on the machine. So we can see the machine booting. And the first question that it asks is, what type of appliance do you want to uh, enroll? So there's only one image. And here with this question, you decide which type of image will be deployed. So we tick here uh, number one for the evil appliance. Press enter. It will warn me that all data on the disk is uh, to be deleted. So we press yes or uh, Y to proceed. And now uh, we need to wait. So I'll stop the recording and we'll be back when the initial configuration of this appliance has been finished. And we are back. So we skipped about six minutes uh, now during which the initial configuration or the initial is installation of the box um, took place. So now we can uh, log in here um, to the ClearPass appliance. And the first login uh, will be uh, with the username app admin. And the password will be etips123. This is a default uh, username and password, which is described in uh, the user guides and in the deployment guides. So first question is now, which is the host name for this box? So let's call it cppm one minus peps so this will be a publisher we will build the cluster later on um, then it will ask us for the management port ip address so let's make that 10.1.10.11 so let's check here yeah it should be uh 10.1.10.11 for the publisher so um, then the subnet mask 255 or 255.255.0 and the default gateway will be 10.1.10.1, .10 uh, which is the um, default gateway in this uh, subnet. Then it will ask us for the data port. We will not be using the data port uh, in this deployment. So we just press enter here to skip that question. Then it will ask us for the DNS server, which will be the uh, .20, and I think we have an .28. It's a secondary DNS server, and it will ask us for the new password. So this is the new password for the console access of the ClearPass appliance. And um, let's make this admin123. Admin123. Oh, admin123. Admin123. Admin so now it will ask us to uh, configure the time and date information. So let's do that. We'll, we'll deploy NTP here. Primary uh, will be uh, the ntp.arubalab.lock. There's no secondary and we will select the time zone. And I'm in uh, Europe in the Netherlands. So let's pick that one. Uh, and we will not be deploying FIPS mode. Sounds very secure, uh, but some things are not allowed in FIPS mode like EPMD5, and that might um, hurt you in uh, the future of your deployment. So it will show us the 
overview of the appliance and I think this is all correct so uh, let's press yes and now it will take another time to uh, do the initial configuration so we will be fast forwarding and back with you uh, when this has been done And we are back so we skipped another seven or so minutes um, with the first uh, boot with a new configuration and now um, let's see if we can uh, reach our system on the web interface so let's go to the 10.1.10.11 so it will show me the certificate warning and let's go to the clear pass policy manager and it will ask me to add a license. So we'll keep that for the next edition. Um, uh, so there will be uh, more. Um, if you like this video, uh, please like, comment, and if you subscribe, you will be noticed if there is a new video. So the next video will be on the initial configuration of the ClearPass appliance, and there will be much more. So thank you for watching.